decimated. King's Commissioner in Trent, dear Mayor, dear Mr. Tupan, Sireli Hairnakisner, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am glad that we are finally launching this remarkable exhibition under the spell of Mount Ararat, Treasures of Ancient Armenia, held in the symbolic year of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Armenia and the Kingdom of the Netherlands. This event was planned to take place two years ago and was twice postponed due to COVID-19. We are finally here presenting a new layer of Armenia's culture and history to the Dutch and European public. This year, Armenian culture is being presented in the Netherlands in an unprecedented manner. The exhibition of the relic and valuable objects from the History Museum of Armenia and Mother Sea of Holy Echmerdzin will shed new light on the Armenian cultural heritage deriving from the depths of history. I am confident that this unique exhibition will help make Armenian art and culture more recognizable and attractive for the friendly people of the Netherlands. The exhibition once again demonstrates and reminds the warm and historically friendly relations that exist between the peoples of Armenia and the Netherlands. Committed to the common values and national identities, our peoples have always been open and deeply interested in interpenetrating cultures. The first mention of the Armenian-Dutch interaction dates back to the 4th century. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Amsterdam was one of the prominent centers of Armenian printing, where Mateo Tsaretsi, Armenian cleric and publisher, established a printing house in 1660. In 1666, Voskan Yerevanci, Armenian clergyman, printed here the first Armenian printed edition of the Bible in the 5,000 copies based on the Bible written upon the order of Hetum of the Second, the King of Cilicia. The publisher collab collaborated with the great Dutch punch cutter, Christopher van Dijk. This is a great example of cultural interaction 
and testimony to the same origins of civilization of Armenia and the Netherlands. Another episode of Dutch-Armenian early interactions is that Armenian merchants established commercial houses in Netherlands in the 16th century. Holy Ghost Revival Church of Amsterdam was built in 1714 by Armenian merchants, which later became the center of social and cultural life for Armenians in Amsterdam. In the 1700s, 70 Armenian families already lived in Amsterdam. One of Amsterdam's ancient bridges, which served as a transit route for Armenian merchants from Juga in the 17th century, is now called the Armenian Bridge. Dear friends, the presentation of this impressive collection at the Drenz Museum and the bilingual catalog will give a strong impetus for strengthening the friendship between two nations and allow thousands of visitors to discover Armenians past under the spell of Ararat, which has always been a universal symbol for Armenians and Christians in general and a guideline for continuity. I would like to thank the initiators of this project, some of them present here today, and those who supported its realization. Once again, I'm truly delighted to attend this occasion and look forward to hosting a similar Dutch exhibition in Armenia. Thank you very much. Making dolma is described in UNESCO list. The art of making dolma, and it's filled with meat, meat and rice. Oh, so meat, so rice, so rice so uh, in in the leaves of the grape. Uh, grape. Yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, dear friends. I'm very glad to see all of you here. And I want to um, mention name by name our awardees and uh, Madame Drost, Mr. Ravut, Mr. Van Dyke, Mr. Van Bommel. I'm very glad to welcome you in this solemn ceremony to decorate you with the Armenian State Awards. And I would like to say that it, this is uh, the expression of our warm gratitude and appreciation for your activities as a great friends of Armenia and Armenian people and your support concerning very important topics for Armenian from international recognition of the Armenian genocide, protection and promotion of rights of Artsakh, people of Artsakh, rights of Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh, and it is very important to state the popularization of Armenian culture in Dutch, in the Netherlands, and the popularization of uh, Dutch culture in Armenia, which of course um, uh, deepens the <clears throat> bilateral and humanitarian ties between our friendly countries and states and of course the other support as well, political support, humanitarian support, uh, should be mentioned. And I would like to say that we are grateful to you and we consider you as a friends of Armenia and we count on you and you also uh, can count on us. And I hope that we'll, you will continue your support and you will continue the Armenian democracy, Armenian peace agenda, and uh, of course, the rights of people of Artsakh and Nagorno-Karabakh. And I believe that as a result of, of this cooperation, of this friendship, we can make uh, this world a better place. Thank you so much, and my appreciation in behalf of Republic of Armenia and people of Republic of Armenia and people of Artsakh for your support and for your uh, friendship. Thank you very much. On the occasion of 30th anniversary of the independence of Armenia and the valuable contribution to the strengthening of friendly relations, 
with the Republic of Armenia and dedication to the promotion of universal human values to award Ms. Inge Drost with the Medal of Mokotar Gosh. And, and he's, the, he's the one who realized everything. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You did. You did. Yes, you did. Try to be helpful. Yeah. What you do. Ah, I just have a good idea. Shut, shut, shut. Very nice place to stay. 